It's raining, it's pouring, what do bumblebees do? In uh, looking up research articles on this specific topic, I opened up a whole can of bumblebee knowledge. I think the best quote to get us started is from this 2017 paper by Kral et al. Or maybe it's Kral et al. Well, whatever. They say bumblebees are relentless foragers. That really does sum this up. So, okay, the relentless foragers. Can we get to the rain thing? Okay, so in the things that often lead up to rain, maybe it gets windy, gets cloudy, the barometric pressure changes, the temperature might drop down a bit, the humidity might go up a bit. Bumblebees, they just keep foraging. They keep looking for nectar and pollen in all these things that lead up to rain. Now, this is super notable, people. Most bees, especially honeybees, which honeybees are non-native, to be clear, but um, they're really wimpy with all of these things that lead up to rain. Honeybees especially. When it's a little more humid, if it's maybe a little too dark, if the wind kicks up a bit, maybe the temperature goes down too much, they are friggin' out of there. They're done. Honeybees stop foraging. Bumblebees, though, they just keep on keeping on. Actually, this is interesting. In the day before it rains, honeybees notably forage more intensely, most likely because when it rains, they will stop foraging. And they know it. They know they're wimps. But bumblebees, they are relentless. They are extremely well adapted to handling wind, even crazy gusty wind, like there one second, gone the next, coming from this direction, now that direction. Bumblebees, they've got it covered. They have tactics to handle wind. They have tactics to handle less light. They have tactics to handle lower temperatures. In some flowers, higher humidity can actually trigger nectar secretion. So being able to handle humidity potentially gives bumblebees a bigger nectar reward than usual. Get this, bees don't really shiver. In fact, insects altogether don't really shiver. But... Bumblebees do. Boom! They are so cool. Well, except when they're shivering. Then they're not cool. They're getting warm. Okay, so in all the weather conditions that lead up to rain, bumblebees are king. They are the champions, my friends. And then, when it lightly mists, they keep foraging. And when it's a light rain, they usually keep foraging. And then, heavy rain. Maybe a downpour. Well, everyone has their limits. Even bumblebees. So when it's strongly raining, some bumblebees do continue to look for nectar and pollen. But most bumblebees do take shelter then. Okay? So number one, how do they take shelter? And number two, why do they take shelter? I thought they were bad weather champions. So for number one, there are two ways that bumblebees can take shelter. For the first way of taking shelter, it depends on what season it is, what gender the bumblebee is, and uh, where a bumblebee colony is in its development. So bumblebee colonies only last a year. There's this year-long bumblebee colony life cycle, if you will. And so some bumblebees might actually go back to their nest in a downpour. And again, this just depends on whether you're looking at a male or a female and then what their purpose is. Like bumblebees will go through these solitary phases and social phases. And there's nesting, mating, foraging, overwintering. So all these changes over the course of a year. And so these changes uh, make a difference as to what they'll do when it's raining. Most bumblebees, though it will not be worth the energy to fly all the way back to the colony or the nest. And so the second way that a bumblebee can take shelter is by just using a flower or a leaf, usually a flower. When the rain gets really hard, 
they literally hide under a flower or under like a flower spike or in a flower if it's big enough. And so this protects them from the rain. And honestly, it conserves a large amount of energy that they would have expended going all the way back to the nest. And honestly, what would be the point if they're just going to go back to foraging when the rain is over anyway? So they hide under or in flowers or flower parts and sometimes under and around leaves too. So that's how they take shelter. They either go back to their nest, but more often, uh, well, again, it depends where, you know, the gender and where, what season we're in and everything. Uh, they will just hide where they are. Shelter in place. So um, that's how they take shelter. So why do they take shelter, these rain weather champions? So there's a few things that happen when the rain really picks up that can end up being a problem for bumblebees and bees in general, really. So nectar in flowers can become diluted when it rains. That's not so great for bees. Pollen can actually become degraded when rain is really heavy. Also, not so great for bees. Uh, There's one flower that I read about, there may be more, um, that has this anti-parasite chemical in its nectar that helps bumblebees not get this parasitic infection. So again, there's a flower that in its nectar, it has a chemical that helps the bumblebees not get this parasite infection. The paper I read did not say this, but I suspect that that anti-parasitic chemical probably also gets diluted in heavy rain because nectar gets diluted in heavy rain. And that's not so great for bumblebees. Uh, Large raindrops can knock bees around in their flight. And bumblebees are really the only bees that handle this quite well. But there are limits, right? And so uh, if it does become too much knocking around at some point, that's not so good for bees. And along those lines, Bees and bumblebees have some water resistance to them. However, when it's too much water that comes too quickly, that hydrophobic water resistance to their cuticle and their little hairs, uh, even on their wings, uh, it doesn't work so well anymore. And when that happens, that's not so good for bees. Also, rain. When it gets really heavy, it can possibly wash away olfactory signals that the bumblebees leave on flowers. So yeah, bumblebees leave smells behind on flowers for themselves or for others in their nest. Uh, And actually, some other insects and bees can also detect these smells and learn things themselves. Um, And so they leave these smells behind for themselves or for others uh, that, well that say whatever it is that bees talk about. And those smells uh, can become washed away when the rain is really heavy. And so that's not really good for bees. It's ruining some of their communication. And so there's lots of reasons to take shelter when the rain becomes quite heavy. And bumblebees do take shelter in or on a flower or flowers or a leaf. Uh, And sometimes they will return to the colony or nest, depending on the season the gender, what part of that year-long colony life cycle that we're in. Um, But I think we, as gardeners and observers, more often notice when they're hiding under a flower because it's really funny and cool to see. (laughs) Um, But for bumblebees, specifically, they really are relentless foragers. That's a really good description. They take shelter from very heavy rain, but anything less than that, and usually they're still out there looking for nectar and pollen, they are workhorses. They are champions. They are bumblebees. And if you plant native, then you'll get to watch those relentless foragers, except in heavy rain, of course. 